What is up, Flockers? That is my fellow Lockers and aspiring Lockers. If you're wondering how to go from this to this, then stick around. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to achieve a basket weave on short locks. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my mirror over here, so at times I will be looking down just to see what I'm doing. The first thing that I'm gonna do is kind of section my hair off because I wanna have four. And so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of come up with the first section that I wanna have and separate it with duckbill clips. All right, and now that I've got that separated and sectioned off, see now I have my top, put, top section right here. What I am going to do is I'm going to start doing my basket weave. And in order to achieve a basket weave, essentially, here, let me move this over here. See, I got my little, my little mirror here. If you need a mirror or anything else that I'm showing in this video, you can find it in the description box down below. I'm probably gonna do about two locks for the left and two locks for the right. So when you're doing your basket weave, you're essentially taking locks from each side and putting them on top of each other. And this is a great alternative for those who may want the kind of look and aesthetic of cornrows or flat twists, but maybe aren't good at cornrowing. This is a, a pretty easy way to go about doing that. So like I said, probably gonna do about two locks from each side. All right, and so then lay them across, lay them across. And that's essentially what you wanna do the whole way. I'm not gonna go all the way back just because I feel like with the shape of my head and with me having short locks, it looks best when I only go halfway back for styles. But of course, depending on the length of your locks and how you like to do your hair, feel free to go back as far as you want to go with yours. And then when I get to the section or the part of my head where I want it to stop, you can either use a bobby pin to tie it off. You can use an elastic band or you can try to use your own box to tie it off. That's typically what I like to do. So that part's done and I will go ahead and try to do the same on the other side. If you've watched any of my previous videos, then you know I did not part my hair or do any type of specific grid on my head. So I do not have a specific parting system. So when I do my hairstyles, they're not exact. Um, if you have a perfect grid, then of course you'll be able to get yours a little bit more exact than I am. That look about right. That looks about right. Same thing on this side. I'm going to use some duckbill clips. I believe that's what they're called to section off the bottom section. And then I will do the same thing on this side. So I'll take a couple and I will start the basket weave.
All right, so I got those two done. Honestly, it's taking me, taken me about seven minutes to do these two sections. Obviously, if I were doing this in the mirror and not in a regular mirror and not trying to do it on camera, it would go a lot faster. So this is a pretty quick style. And you could honestly leave it like this if you wanted to. And this could be your style. But we're gonna keep going. On to the last section. All right, that took under 15 minutes to do all four. We're at about 12 minutes total, again, on camera, so it takes longer. This one's doing the most. Y'all already know that I'm a fan of lock jewelry, so give me just a minute while I go get that so I can jazz this up a little bit. All right, I'm back. And I've got my dreadlock accessories right here with me. So let's see what throwing a couple of lock jewelries in here does for the look. Sometimes less is more. Now, typically if I was putting on this lock jewelry to wear out, I would spread it out around my head better. But for the purposes of the video, so you can actually see it, I'm putting more closer to the front of my head. All right, so this is the final look. Who doesn't like a quick lock style that takes under 15 minutes? You're in and you're out, boom, quick. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you are enjoying this content, then please make sure to hit that like button so I can know what type of content you all are enjoying. And also hit the subscribe button so that you can join the flock. Whatever time of day it is, make sure that you are spreading good vibes to those around you and just be positive. Bye.